Now, to start off, you may be thinking, who is Steven Sasson? When I asked my friends and family, these were common responses. No idea. No. No. Nope. Not a clue. No. No. I have no idea. I've been laughing about him ever since you chose him. I've heard of him. No. 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 I don't care. Time to fill your noggins with knowledge. But it was film as photography, so management's reaction was, that's cute, but don't tell anyone else about it. Steven Sasson. This is how the one thing that revolutionized the world started. 40 years ago, in 1975, Steven Sasson invented the first digital camera. This new camera plays a very important role in everyday life. Without the invention, we wouldn't have iPhones and photography would be very poor. This exploration has changed the life of many people. So first, let's go back in time. Steven Sasson was born on July 4th, 1950 in Brooklyn, New York. He went to Brooklyn Technical High School and graduated in 69. He also attended Rensselaer Politician Institute, also known as RPI. Always as a kid, he was interested in making toys with scavenged parts, like he was a mini inventor. He's still living in Brooklyn and is currently alive today. Now, in the 1970s, photography was very popular using film. Back then, film was easily accessible and companies was making a lot of money. Now, photography is used everywhere to tell our stories, even if it's just going on a trip to the mountains or just a selfie with friends. This type of art would not be available without Steven Sasson. Sasson came to work at Kodak in 1973. Soon later, he was given a kind of unimportant task to see if there was any use for charged coupled device. Sasson wanted to capture an image with it. We ended up taking our first snapshot. You have an imaging chip, and that imaging chip receives the light from the scene and converts it to a series of numbers. That charge pattern then has to be read quickly off of the device into a more permanent form of storage. But that solution led to another challenge, storing it on a RAM memory, then getting it to the cassette player. It took about a year to build. The first photo they took was an, of an intern working down the hall, Kenneth Potowski. When the photo first appeared, it did not pick up her face, but it picked up the background. Kenneth was not impressed, but Stephen was. Later on, Stephen found out that the pixels were in the wrong order, so he rearranged them, and the first photo was born in May 24, 1974. Once the first photo was taken, he quickly took it to his boss at Kodak. And his reply he got was, it's cute, but don't tell anyone else. No one else thought that looking at your picture on a TV screen was worth spending any more money. Kodak didn't want to take the risk, so they just simply shoot it away. Hardly anyone knew I was working on this because it wasn't that big of a project, Mr. Sasson said. It wasn't a secret, it was just a project to keep me from getting into trouble doing something else. The final result was a big bulky square with a lens scavenged from a Super 8 movie camera. The, uh, the camera, and we had to build a switch right here, and it had two positions. The first one uh, turned power on to the camera, where all the electronic cam would turn on. And then the second one would grab the picture. The camera is eight pounds. That took 15 milliseconds to capture the image, but it took 23 seconds to put it in the cassette and then another 30 seconds for the cassette to appear on the TV screen. And the resolution was 0.1 megapixels. Most pictures these days 
are 8 megapixels, sometimes even 10 megapixels. The first digital camera was patented in 1978. It was called the electronic still camera. But Mr. Sasson was not allowed to publicly talk about it or show his prototype to anyone outside Kodak. But Kodak's marketing department was not interested. Mr. Sasson was told they would sell the camera, but it never sold because it would eat away at the company's film sales. A still until the patent US4131919 A expired in the United States in 2007, the digital camera patent helped earn billions for Kodak, making the most digital camera manufacturers pay Kodak for the use of the technology. Though Kodak did eventually market both professional and consumer cameras, it did not fully embrace the digital photography until it was too late. Every digital camera that was sold took away from a film camera, and we knew how much money Kodak made of film. That was the argument, of course. The problem is soon you won't be able to sell film, and that was Steven's position. In 2010, Steven Sasson won the award for National Technology and Innovation presented by Barack Obama. In 2012, Eastman Kodak filed for bankruptcy. It was a very sad day, Sasson said. First came foreign competitors, notably Fujifilm of Japan, which undercut Kodak's prices. Then the growing digital photography faded away and the demand for traditional film, squeezing Kodak's business so much that in 2003, the company said that it would stop investing in its long-time product. Kodak has been open for 131 years. Founded by George Eastman, Kodak became one of America's most notable companies, but failed to adapt to its rapidly growing digital world. In better news, this technology made a huge impact in today's life, and almost everyone around the world uses it. You can see photography everywhere you look. Magnets, of course your phone, billboards, ads on the side of a bus. Most people take for granted what they are given today. Out of the people I quizzed, only two out of 16 knew who Steven Sasson is. Neither did I before I started this project. I believe that Stephen Sasson should be more acknowledged for his work. Hopefully, after this movie, you will know all you need to know about him. Who knew we can go from this? What can a picture be? Well, it can be whatever you want it to be. It can be on paper or not. It can be created and copied in minutes. A picture can be whatever you want it to be. Because now, Kodak gives you the power to take pictures further. To this. You, we can go from this to this. <laughs>